Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 23 for the year 2023 designating the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications as the minister responsible for the National Space Science Agency before the legislative branch based on a presentation by the Supreme Defense Council, Secretary General and the approval of the cabinet. His Majesty the King Hamad also issued Decree 24 for the year 2023 appointing Hadia Muhammad Fathallah Muhammad Fathallah as Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports with the rank of Undersecretary based on the nomination of the Supreme Council Chairman. And His Majesty the King issued Decree 25 for the year 2023, appointing Saud Yusuf Mohammed Al Hiddi as Assistant Undersecretary for Support and Initiatives at the Ministry of Youth Affairs based on the Cabinet approval. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 26 for the year 2023, appointing Aqil Abd Ali Bu Hussein as Assistant Undersecretary for Labor Relations at the Ministry of Labor based on the Cabinet approval. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 27 of 2023 appointing Hussein Ali Yagoub as Assistant Undersecretary for Land Transportation at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications based on the Cabinet approval. And His Majesty the King issued Decree 28 of the year 2023 appointing Iman Naji Qasim Ali as Deputy Chief Executive Officer at the Planning and Urban Development Authority for Urban Development and Firas Abbas Amin as Deputy Chief Executive Officer for Urban Planning based on the nomination of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning and the Cabinet approval. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 29 for the year 2023 appointing Noor Hafiz Bu Ali as Deputy Chief Executive Officer at the National Bureau of Revenue for Tax Operations and Compliance and Raghdan Saleh Qasim Abdul Rasool as Deputy Chief Executive Officer for Policies and External Relations based on the nomination of the Minister of Finance and National Economy and the Cabinet approval. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 14 of the year 2023 appointing Isam Ismail Al Alawi as Director of Manpower Development at the Ministry of Labor, based on a presentation by the Minister of Labor. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also issued Edict 15 for the year 2023, transferring and appointing directors at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, based on a presentation by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications as follows. Air Traffic Director Abdullah Hassan Ishaq Ali Qadi takes over as Aviation Safety and Security Director. Maysa Muhammad Abdul Rahman Hazim appointed as Air Traffic Director. Rashid Ibrahim Atiq Khalil appointed as Director of Postal Sector Regulation. Dua Jasim Muhsin Ali Hussein appointed as Director of Land Transport Regulation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also issued Edict 16 for the year 2023 transferring and appointing directors at the Planning and Urban Development Authority based on a presentation by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning. Isa Abdurrahman Rashid al Buinain appointed as Director for Studies and Urban Pla Policies. Wafa Ahmed Abdullah Salim appointed as Director of Planning and Urban Design. Ahmed Ghazi Ahmed al Kohaji appointed as Director for Infrastructure Planning and Services. And Hisham Muhammad Abdurrahim Hussein Director for Plans Implementation. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Royal Guard Search and Rescue Team Arms of Relief after successfully completing their humanitarian relief mission in Turkey from the February 11th to the 22nd. The Royal Guard Special Forces Commander His Highness Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the celebration. The National Security Advisor affirmed that the Noble Humanitarian Initiative is in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. He commended the Royal Directives and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, to facilitate and ensure the success of the Task Force Noble Humanitarian Mission. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commanded the dedication of all the task force members and their high professionalism, despite the bad weather conditions, while performing the task assigned to them 
following the devastating earthquake that hit Syria and Turkey. He noted that rapid response to stretch out a helping hand to the affected people serves the interest of all mankind. The National Security Advisor noted that solidarity is a characteristic feature of Bahrain, which embodies the wise visions of His Majesty the King. ما ودعناكم استقبلناكم متوقعين نتيجتكم متوقعين عملكم متوقعين جهودكم ومتوقعين نجاحكم العمل اللي قمتوه به والانقاذ والاجلاء والسمعه اللي عكستوها في تركيا لمملكه البحرين هذه نشكركم اياه الى يوم الدين هذه مؤشر استعدادكم واستعداد غيركم اللي كانوا مستعدين يبدلون قوة الواجب ولكن ولله الحمد انتهت المهمة وقت عملكم هناك ولا احنا دارين لو ان احنا مستمرين كان قبلنا الحسن مثل ما انتم قمتوا فانتم جزء ومجموعة متكاتفة متكاملة عكستوا صورة المملكة بأسف نفتخر بكم الله ومشكورين وعز الله انكم قد المهم. The Royal Guard held a celebration at the Bahrain Defense Force yesterday on the occasion of the victory of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in the World Endurance Championship and the presence of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. The National Security Advisor dedicated the championship's trophy and title to His Majesty the King and congratulated him on the occasion as His Majesty's follow up was the main incentive for marking the achievement. The Deputy Royal Guard Commander, Major General, Hamad Khalifa and Naimi congratulated His Highness on behalf of the Royal Guard affiliates. The ceremony was also attended by senior officers, commissioned officers and Royal Guard members who congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the historic achievement, paying tribute to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Nasser thanked the Royal Guard affiliates for their kind sentiments. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Endurance Team is taking part in the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques International Endurance Cup, the Knights Cup, for a distance of 120 km with the participation of 204 riders from 40 countries in Al Ula Governorate, Saudi Arabia. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the constant participation of the Royal Team in the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques Endurance Cup Championship embodies the strong relationship that binds the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in light of the mutual interest and joint efforts led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his brother, the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the championship is regarded as one of the major international tournaments and enjoys a large worldwide participation. His Highness expressed pride in the presence of the Royal Endurance Team in this championship as the team will showcase their best levels of performance due to the distinguished selection of riders. The Royal Endurance Team and teams from private stables participated in a veterinary examination held in the tournament village and the horses were also numbered and the riders' clothes were received. The riders of the Royal Endurance Team completed their preparations by going through a final training session in the championship village. Under the patronage and support of Her Highness, Sheikh Anoura bint Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, captain of the Knights team, the championship of Her Highness Sheikh Anoura bint Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to dressage horses was held at the Military Sports Union Square in Arrafa, with the participation of a wide range of stables and riders. The final championship held a series of tournaments organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. Commencing last December, the championship have reached the end.
The final tournament witnessed a strong competition between the knights as riders presented outstanding levels in controlling and taming the horses, underscoring the development of the championship. Thanks to the support it received from Her Highness Sheikh Hanoura bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the 2022-2023 Horse Dressage Championships relayed on a points league system for all the competitors and points are earned according to the percentages of the riders. The first place winners were crowned after the distinguished performances in the tournament. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued an edict appointing Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad as Board Chairman of the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Company, Asri. The edict is part of the endeavor of the Oil and Gas Holding Company to rely on the national competencies to promote development in the companies related to it and tune it with its future strategies and for the sake of sustainability. Under the patronage and presence of the Vice President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 23rd race for the season. The race was held on the cups of the General Authority for Sports, the British Knights Club Cup, and the Chevron Cup on the Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club racetrack in Rafa Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their Highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race, and horse racing fans and enthusiasts. His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed crowned the winners of the Cup of the General Sports Authority, where His Highness presented the Cup of the fourth game to the winning assistant trainee, Mohammed Haider, and the Cup of the seventh game to the winning trainer, Jabir Ramadan. His Highness also presented the eighth cup to the winning owner Hadi Ibrahim Al Afu. Chairman of the Chevron Company Chris Bartlett presented the Chevron Cup to the winning trainer Talal Al Alawi, while General Manager of Racing and International Relations at the British Knights Club Stephen Wallace presented the six round cup to Abdullah Fauzinas. And he also presented the two cups to the winning trainer Hisham Al Haddad and wider Stephen Lodge, who came in sixth place. On the sideline of hosting the Formula One race, Bahrain Grand Prix for Gulf Air 2023, the Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsports in the Middle East, witnessed the activities of the pit lane round with attendance of large audience. 
The event offers visitors a unique opportunity to be close to the Formula One teams and watch their preparations for the start of the opening race of the new season. Motorsports fans and enthusiasts get to know more about the preparations of all Formula One teams closely as it is an ideal opportunity to photograph the team's preparations and encourage them with the start of Formula One racing competitions.